guys, welcome back to Keisa Gaming. Before you're going to watch this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and also to click the subscribe button. Happy watching, guys! Hi, guys! So, on this video, I'm gonna show you some tips to face Joseph. I mean to kite him and also to counter him. So this is a legendary rank match on season 14. I play with Blubber so the rest are random players. First of all, you need to hide first when you see the camera. A good Joseph player will memorize the spawn of the survivor because they will go to the photo world and give damage to your photo image. Got the first one forward. Okay, so sometimes if Joseph found your real body on photo world, he will try to hit you too. If you knew that he is hitting your photo image, move and do transition to other location. Of course, the friend drop is real and worse, plus this skin, plus this accessory. As accessory. <laughs> so, when Joseph is traveling around while ballooning survivor, he will try to find other survivor and hit them on the photo world. So, you are safe on the real world if you see that icon. And when he put the survivor on the rocket chair, you actually can see the location on the minimap. You cannot see it on the real safe replay, but I knew that he is near with me. Yep. He is near with me. I'm still figuring out which direction, which the oh my god. <laughs> okay, so it is a wrong direction. And I know on this range, he gonna get me a one free hit. So okay, let me try to drag him here, try to distract him. So he kind of forget about forward because forward is down already. Okay, so he blocked the window or up persona, which means if he bring trump card, he didn't bring the tension. It sounds a simple thing, but it is so important to pay attention when you are kiting. You can predict what is their persona built based on that simple thing. Okay, he is teleport leaving me. You need to tell everyone that the hunter changed target. He tried to predict where is the forward direction, where is him. But there is no tinnitus because forward still down and the range is too far to be seen by him. Let me tell you, Joseph Lawyer is big brain. So you need to be patient and strategical too when facing him. Camera is a good counter for Cyber Rush though, right? So player like Joseph player and Dreamwitch player are big brain player and the best way to counter them actually is to have a full team with voice call. But if you're a solo player or duo player, use notification chat wisely. When he's on the photo world, he have wider range to see you inside the photo world. So remember that. And you, as a survivor, you also can see his location when he chairs someone or when he is pretty near with you. So I know that he's coming to my location to give jump scare. So he is coming towards to my direction. So get out, don't wait for the jump scare. He got the mechanic bot already. And yep, as my prediction, he is coming to my cypher location. This is how you avoid the jump scare. Beautiful, beautiful. He tried to jump scare me, right? Very nice. But I already left that location though. So I know that perfumer down. And if Joseph didn't share the perfumer, actually you can use your perfume to get back to your full health condition. I have met this video since like two years ago. So feel free to click the link on suggestion. Okay, so let's we help perfumer because he got the buff to heal herself. And let's heal her before Joseph come. Almost 4 minutes, still 5 cypher, but accelerate already, okay? So, as you can see here, Mechanic has run out of the bot and we all are injured, so she got multiple debuff too. Yep, Joseph is coming to us. Uh, we need to get out from this location. Perfumer tank hit, which is good because she still got all of the perfume. And oh my god, sorry for the notification of the potato. Anyway, I play with Blueberry without voice call because if he talk too much, his cough will gonna get worse again. So wish for fully recovery for Blueberry, guys. Okay, so another photo, another camera, and try to give jump scare to us. He knew that we might be still around here to heal each other, so you need to do transition. I guess it is better to split up. And a good Joseph will have a good prediction of the survivor location. 
so you need to have a good prediction too to avoid the jump scare so like on this situation my instinct told me that he will come to this location so yep as you can see i told you right he wanna give me a jump scare so i tried to hide over here yep he was thinking i was waiting beside that pallet okay let me try to do the transition and do not kite on that location because that cypher has quite a lot of progress already so other survivor can continue to decode while i'm kiting him on the other location go inside the photo wall so when you get down he cannot share you instantly he will use the card skill to do tactical moves so be aware with that i will use my one curse to keep distance with him still keep trying to get tight with him okay i've got the achievement of enchantress still keep trying to tight kite with him and you need to remember the hitbox i mean the rotation of joseph because he just got a buff right so his attack range is better than before so be aware with that because the attack range and the rotation hit it's way better than before but as you can see the cypher left is two and a good hunter will bring you near with the cypher that has progressed because he can camp both of the cypher and also the chair okay so he gonna put me over here as you can see that cypher machine already has a lot of progress already and remember be patient when you are going to rescue guys other survivor can decode longer if you are being patient okay so if you cannot do that cypher machine you need to find other cypher machine every second is precious so do not waste your time and find other location and start doing the other cypher machine try your best to do the cypher bus okay so nice rescue from blubber and also nice stun okay nice stun from forward too it give me time to do transition and help perfumer over here to decode but be careful because there's only one cypher left we are doing two different cypher as a backup and i'm going to the photo world again remember so when i get down he cannot share me instantly with the real counting okay as you can see coming to this location and be aware with that oh unfortunately perfumer got a hit get down okay and he's gonna share perfumer because she is already on the real world everyone is injured everyone is injured on this situation i almost got my third curse so i was planning for rescue because i knew that forward and also blubber the mechanic is doing the other cypher machine so i was thinking to help them and always bring distress especially if you are playing solo or duo so you can see each other location when you sit on the rocket chair okay i've got my third curse already i'm trying to rescue but joseph changed trade with trump card persona yep i was suspecting it could be excitement yep <laughs> run away so I'm right it is excitement so he kind of get distracted with me it is the right timing for blubber to help perfumer to rescue her for what is continue to decode the last cypher machine because the photo world has been collapsed and still trying to get anyone near here but then of course of course a good hunter knew that he needed to focus on the last cypher machine he's going back with the card skill and i was worried that forward cannot finish on time so i i was coming to his last cypher machine and joseph also coming to him okay finally last cypher has been popped last cypher has been popped another card skill oh my god <laughs> okay oh no so the reason why forward down even without the tension is because the damage from joseph is 1.5 this is why there's still some yellow color on your icon and that's also why some joseph player don't even need to bring the tension they know how to utilize his strength okay so as you can see here i also got the yellow color damage and blubber also has that one only perfumer that doesn't have that yellow color we all just touch both of the exit gates but forward sit on the rocket chair is quite near with me that's the reason why joseph is coming to my exit gate so i need to buy time for other survivor to open the exit gate oh my god 
I was thinking to okay let me just rescue forward but Blubber came on time and already helped him out which is good and I'm still trying to get into the pallet oh my god okay just get out from this location he doesn't have teleport any longer though yep I've been playing this game since 2018 I mean like since season 1 and I know that playing Joseph could be really challenging I mean quite complex and you need to practice a lot this match is around 10 minutes it is normal I mean like it is way longer than playing with other hunter so let me show you some other clip just for a reminder on the early game be aware with the screen of the camera it could give you jump scare so be careful with it be careful so much I mean like like on this situation if it is too close with the cypher machine you need to have faster finger response too or no you just go to the photo world and decode on the photo world instead i mean like if you're on the photo world you cannot be chair instantly with the real counting oh my god what is this <laughs> another leg bug another thing is be careful when you go for the rescue inside this building okay be careful this entrance can be blocked by hunter i show it to you like a couple months ago it is way better to go from the other entrance and do not force yourself to try to get into it when hunter is blocking the way you cannot get in you cannot get in so be careful this is very dangerous guys i mean like I know that I've been showing it to you when I blocked the entrance before when I was using Giza and it is painful for the rescuer character. Okay, receiving one hit. That's the reason also why the elbow pad is being cancelled and teleport and also one hit. Remember that knife cannot tank hit from Joseph too because the damage is 1.5 all the time I know that this knife feels so bad to us at the end we got a draw and this is me couple months ago when I was blocking this entrance when the game crash hasn't started guys after the butterfly adjustment and as you can see while I was blocking this entrance I still can hit the survivor it is painful though for the rescuer so it is better to go from the other entrance it is a better idea okay so thanks for watching guys i hope this video is useful for you and i see you again on my next video bye bye